This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to start this video off by saying that I do not condone putting hands on anyone. I do not condone anyone putting their hands on anyone. We must use our words, not our hands. I want to make that very clear. I want to make that crystal clear. But we are dealing with a he said, she said situation here. And I talked about that in my previous videos, but I'm so I'm not going to get into that again. But I just wanted to focus on another issue. So Blueface Mom has been very vocal about the Tamar Braxton, Christian Rock, James Wright Chanel situation. And she was responding to this post from the Neighborhood Talk. So the person pointed out that they were not a Krishan fan, but we all saw Tamar pressing Krishan to get ready. That was the day Carlissa was trying to meet Junior. Do you guys remember that? So Carlissa confirmed by saying we actually had to cut the visit early because Tamar was calling for her to be on time. This is true. So yes, nothing is missed by the internet detectives. And we see clearly here Tamar saying you're supposed to be getting dressed. But why was Tamar pressing her to be on time if she wasn't supposed to perform? Why did Tamar care so much if she is usually changing during the part of the show that Krishan was allegedly supposed to be a part of anyway? She said that Krishan was supposed to be a part of the twerk show and she's usually in her dressing room. She's usually changing during this segment. <laughs> hey Tamar, I know you called me back, but his mother pulled up. Where Cali at? So to me, this further shows that there was a big misunderstanding. And I believe that Krishan and DJ Sky thought that they were supposed to perform. And I say this with much respect to Tamar and her team, but I think a misunderstanding of this level should never have happened, especially with this level of show. I think that the person that handles the bookings should have been messaging Krishan, not Tamar uh, messaging Krishan on Krishan's Instagram live. But people are saying that Tamar was on that live because she was trying to create some buzz for her show. So even if she was doing the twerk off segment, and even if, like Tamar said, Krishan was doing the twerk off segment of the show, I think that contracts and NDAs should have been signed. And seeing Tamar's comments like this on the Instagram live it's giving that they were doing their own thing outside of the show. It seems like they had maybe a verbal contract or something. It seems like they had maybe a verbal agreement or something and it wasn't communicating to her team. And I can see how things could have been messed up, gotten screwed up. Tamar, stage manager, didn't even know why the DJ was on stage. No one knew who DJ Sky was. So how does a random person get on the stage for a production of this level? I can't get on the stage of my daughter's elementary school performance or go backstage for that matter. So how was DJ Sky allowed to get on the stage so close to the star of the show? How was she able to get close to the DJ person on the stage or even talk to them for that matter? Where was security and who was responsible for making sure that people were supposed to be where they are supposed to be on the stage? Ate some cake in her mouth and Krishan came out and was like, where you going, sis? Gotta go on stage. And I'm looking like, huh? Like, what's, what's happening? And Tamar, like, the, the show is over. What do you mean? She said, I'm about to go on stage. And she's like, huh? You, you ain't been out? You haven't went out there already? Because she was supposed to go out during the twerk session. She hadn't been out. She, she, Krishan hadn't been out. So I was like, come on, ladies, let's just take this in the dressing room. So we went in the dressing room. And in the dressing room, it was me, Tamar, and Krishan. Tamar was trying to figure out why hadn't Krishan, why didn't Krishan go out during the twerk session? And she's looking at me and I'm like, I don't know. Like, 
Krishan, I, I don't know why she didn't go out. So Krishan breaks down and starts crying. And I felt bad and the Holy Ghost in me, cause I carry it everywhere with me. I began to give her a hug and everything like that. Cause I like Krishan. Also respectfully to Troy, Tamar and the tour manager, they all have different stories. And I feel that's why people are confused. Troy gave the impression that he didn't know who Krishan was. He gave the impression that he didn't know she was a performer. But his tweets say otherwise. He has known who she was since 2022. And his tweets give the impression that he didn't really like her. And he said himself that he did not want her on that stage. She, apparently she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, apparently she wanted to drop a beat. So she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I, I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I didn't know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So when Krishan had the microphone while she was on the stage, um, she had the microphone when she was with Tamar. Why didn't somebody take her microphone why didn't somebody remove her from the stage politely if she wasn't supposed to be on the stage? And then Tamar said that Krishan had reached out to her first in a DM and then she reached out to Krishan. She saw her as a little sister. She didn't call her back and ask her to perform. She was supposed to sing and dance to vibe. Krishan was supposed to sing and dance to her song Vibe during the twerk off. But in my humble opinion, singing and dancing sounds like she's performing. And I'm wondering if that's how she communicated that to Krishan. Did she communicate it to Krishan? Hey, I want you to sing and dance to your song Vibe during my twerk off. And Krishan took that as I'm performing. I don't know. What do you guys think? She had sent me her number a while ago on the DM and I reached out to her. I mean, like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I don't know. Um, I didn't call Christiana to open up for me. Um, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion right and i was like oh it'd be cool if you if the dj played is a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people you know portion right and i was like oh it'd be cool if you if the dj played is a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people you know baltimore sisters and that's really what i was thinking um everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me i try to always do, do the right thing um by people um, and there's a contract. Um, we're professional. I'm a real touring company. Um, and that wasn't the case. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. I think that there was a misunderstanding. And the tour manager said he didn't know why Krishan didn't come out during the twerking session. But the makeup artist slash choreographer Mooney said Krishan was not on the side of the stage when it was time for her to come out, they're saying she couldn't be found. So it just sounds like a lot of confusion going on during this production. So Tamar is still asking like, well, what happened? What what happened? Why didn't she go out? And I'm like, I, I'm trying to figure out what happened too. So um, David and Mooney come in. They both do makeup. And we're all at this point talking about what happened. Tamar is saying, Mooney, what happened? Da -da -da. Mooney was saying that Krishan was not on the side of the stage when it was time for the twerk part. Mooney is a choreographer and he also does makeup. Mooney was saying Krishan was not on the side of the stage. So it's like, well, what happened? What happened? Well, who was, who was, who was there? Who can, like, what? everybody's screaming, what happened? What happened? At this point, Krishan is like, yes, I, I was on the side of the stage. I was there. Tamar is ahead of that team. She is the head. She is the captain of that ship. And I want to make this crystal clear again. There is absolutely no excuse to allegedly put pause on someone. And I'm not saying that Krishan did. And Krishan is saying that she didn't put pause on James. And I want to just put that out there. But I just want to also make it clear that I feel like the communication was definitely lacking. So I want to leave you guys with this last question. 
if Krishan was not supposed to perform at Tamar's show, why did their DJ ask DJ Sky to send Krishan's tracks? And that's why the situation is such a mess, in my opinion. What are your thoughts? I think that there was a misunderstanding. That's how it is when I'm ready to go on stage. I'll be like, he ha, he ha. We underground. Could you get my stage now? We underground. Could you get my stage now? Oh, Damon, you know. What? Yeah. So my house is going to be where it is. My, uh, my man is on it. I'm on it. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.